It's whoever doesn't make the mistake last. Thanks, Chris. Look forward to hearing from you throughout the night. So Georgia Tech has a first down at 10 from their own 25. And this is Jerry Howard, the B-back. I told you and I this week that you know, I had some bad reads. Yeah. So I understand why Coach Jackson took me out. He'll pitch it here. This is Clinton Lynch. For Miami's defense. Miami's got the best third down defense in the country. But Georgia Tech, lead. Gerald Willis gets some penetration. And I've already talked about Trajan Bandy, but Michael Jackson, those corners, set the edge outside. Marshall, the pitch. Jerry Howard takes a shot at the 38 yard. Hit to the perimeter, and the lineman for Georgia Tech couldn't get to him. Second down and seven. Toss it back. This is Nathan Cottrell with his first carry. And second down, so they'll stay in their base defense, but if you're them, you've got to be thinking the ball's going to be into Quan Marshall's hands. Marshall rolling out. He will throw here. Man wide open. It's Jalen Camp. Down at the 38. So, really aggressive call by Paul Johnson to get that conversion. A pickup of 20 yards through the air. Now back to what they do so well, the option, and it's Clinton Lynch. Versatile senior, military well represented here tonight. And as Georgia Tech goes back to work, and Marshall is spun down. It's going to be third down and fairly long. The, where would we be, all of us, without the men and women who have served and are currently serving? Marshall cuts it up. And he is still alive. Bedlam, yeah. Still alive for the college football playoff. Still a chance. A Big 12 representative. Taking a couple away. Huge penalty. Tenth play of the series. Fourth down and two. Georgia Tech goes for it a lot on fourth down. 50% on the year. And it looks like they're going to pick this one up too. Now ball came out. There's going to be such a... Key statistic here tonight for Paul Johnson's team. That has been a problem for them this year. Marshall finds some real estate up the middle, all the way to the end zone. What a run for Taquan Clemson, but um, being here at the Flats, man, there's so many remarkable moments from playing Virginia back in the day to beating Miami here. Oh, man, uh, it, it's going on and on, really. You know, from that to the great coaches, teammates we had, uh, it's some remarkable times. We're on the march. At the 10 yard line. First down and 10. After the first Miami turnover of the night, here's Cottrell. And he'll be down at the 8. You know, Dan, for the Lions and had a bunch of starts, and I made a conscious effort to force feed that guy the yeah. ball. He was the best option, so. Yeah, I'm make fine. a point of throwing the Megatron. Here's Marshall rolling out. He's looking good tonight. Lock it in, touchdown. Second score for Taquan Marshall. I want to see some mid-major hoop. I'm going to use the app to do so, Clay. Here's Taquan Marshall. He's got a couple of touchdown runs. Gets across the 20. He's utilizing Miami's speed and aggressiveness with some counter stuff to help his offense. Sherry Howard. It'll be third down. Let's go. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Third and short. Marshall. Add up and Perry with just a young mistake. And now Miami gives Georgia Tech a short field. Daquan Marshall going back to work with his triple option offense. And it's Jordan Mason on the pitch. This Georgia Tech who averages 38 minutes a game of possession, you're, you're making it almost impossible to win. And came in plus three in turnover margin. They're losing that battle tonight. Paul Johnson is out of timeouts. And out of that timeout, third down and five. Mason spinning, working hard. He's got the first down and more. Down to the shot to slow it down. He's like trying to bring down a baby bull. He's averaging over six yards per carry. Georgia Tech on the move. Marshall sprinting out. 
Looking for real estate on the left side, nothing there. Out to the perimeter and let the Canes run. Use our speed to get out there and make some tackles. This is the best defense Georgia Tech has seen since the Clemson game week four. Play Searcy on the pitch, nothing. Third tackle for Quarterman. 14-7, Georgia Tech with the lead, looking for more. Trying to convert on third down and long. They're going to go with the dive play to Mason. Okay, there's still some things we could do much better. Whoever does that will come out on top. To Quan Marshall. His 11th carry of the nut. Is it can create a turnover. It can hit the opposing team. And for Miami, they benefited from it. And Georgia Tech really struggled on that, uh, that last defensive drop. Start of the second half, their, their defense makes a huge tackle for loss and really sets Georgia Tech behind the sticks. And there's another tackle for loss. No, they got the pitch away. Great fake. Look for them to use one of those counter play action plays that they were successful with in the first half. Completed one pass tonight. Try and hear to Quan Marshall in trouble. And he's going to throw it away. They hit a 20 yarder in the foot. <laughs> Jeff Thomas away like a rag doll to recover that. And now a golden opportunity for the Yellow Jackets. And Tobias Oliver is in that runs for Tobias Oliver, who's a very slippery guy on the edge. Got the start at Virginia Tech. Came off the bench last week at North Carolina, the last two weeks. Offensive Rookie of the Week in the ACC. Cottrell trying to step out of attack. I gotta imagine they're gonna get him on the edge against this Miami D. Marshall looking to throw, and now he's gonna tuck. And he's going to get hammered for a loss of one. And they've got big boys up front offensively to kind of at least somewhat fight that cleansing dominant D-line. Jaquan Marshall cutting it up. He's got a first down. He's counterplay to Quan touchdowns. I think he has really done a good job here tonight. And he'll hand off to Jerry Howard. Straight up for a couple. Middle. Yep. Your center your quarterback in Marshall, and your B-back. And tonight, they got it. He is a dynamic personality, too. As it's Howard again. Grin so much, and Tobias Oliver is a teammate of his. He helps this team win. That's the most important thing to Dequan Marshall. Paul Jackson rolled Oliver in for a couple of plays, but back to Marshall, and he's moving this offense as Jerry Howard. The gap right there, and that's... leads to big plays back to Howard you know the B-backs Mason and Howard quarterback and rightfully so but really a big part of this offense starts with that dive and you need it back to be physical and aggressive downhill and this time Quan Marshall is spun down he's playing at a high level and one-on-one -on -one ball he's almost unblockable Gerald Willis came into the night leading the ACC in tackles for loss and now Marshall's going to the end zone. Has Brad Stewart. Touchdown. They've been talking about trading him since before the start of the season. They're all in. They got their triplets now. Mm -hmm. They fake the toss. It's Quan Marshall doing what he does best. First down. It's a gain of 12 on four. That Manny Diaz, the defensive coordinator from, from Miami, said could have happened. We could not give up plus 25-yard touchdowns. That's two of them tonight for Georgia Tech's offense, Clay. Themselves in this game. And so, as a defensive coordinator, Manny Diaz, you're, the pressure's on right yeah. now to get a huge stop because your offense is struggling and you've given up some big plays. Cottrell, full bore on that pitch. And he's going to be a little shy of the first down marker. It's just they wear on you and wear on you and wear on you, and then you have bad discipline. And they hit you with the big plays, and that's been the story so far tonight. Jaquan Marshall dives her head for the first down in the third quarter. You know, it's hard to keep receivers engaged in this <laughs> offense, Dan, but they managed to do it. And around here is Cottrell. Busts a tackle. And he's pulled down at the 29-yard line finally by Georgia Tech offense. 
It's brilliant play calling right now from Paul Johnson. Fourth play of 20 yards or more for Georgia Tech tonight. As Mason will pick up a few. And, you know, for this Georgia Tech offense, they believe in this offensive line, and Paul Johnson is going to do what they do. Cersei on the toss sweep. Oh, well read. Romeo Finley. That is going to help you be a pro. You know, you learn some doing the dirty work, blocking on the perimeter. Let's see if they go to the air here on third and ten. Marshall Sim, Cersei in motion. Oh, ball comes out. Cersei scrambles and dives on it to protect the possession for Georgia Tech. This week on the SEC Network, up on Arkansas. Right, Chris, thank you. Games decided by one possession. Miami 1 and 2, Georgia Tech 0 and 1. And it's but also protecting yourself against being vulnerable to the big play. Taquan Marshall will keep it. And he's going to take a loss. For them to keep the ball on the ground, maybe in some form of a rever reverse. They're going to throw it. Marshall, his fourth pass of the night, and it's on target. He finds Jalen Camp at the 40. Body. Huge third down, because now you take off another two, two and a half minutes if you're Georgia Tech. They go back to the dive. Their bread and butter, it's Jerry Howard. And well, and we've seen that consistently tonight. And a great call, gutsy call by Paul Johnson. Howard. Right up the middle. Still pushing the pile. Big here. Try and get some penetration. Willis, can you find a way to penetrate up the middle? It'll be Marshall on the key. He's got the first down. And now Georgia Tech. First down and 10 from the 31. And Jerry Howard. But at Georgia Tech, how well they've played. It's, it's fascinating, almost in a way, that Miami could lose four in a row. Try to find a way to get a huge stop defensively. Top sweep. Control. He tackles out on the edges. Eight for 14 tonight on third down. Cersei in motion. Handoff inside. It's Howard. First down, Georgia Tech. Just got to do our responsibility for what the play shows. And Gerald Willis right there gets caught up in the moment. Georgia Tech has 226. And he said no one wanted to play them after the month of October because the option was in full swing to be the case this year for them. Yeah, they're hitting on all cylinders with this offense. So hard to stop.